All right, welcome to another episode of March Mad Hot Air Plays Outer Wilds. Um, learned a couple of things after watching the previous video. I made a couple of mistakes. First of all, uh, I definitely did hit the thruster before the ship, or not the ship, the fish tried to eat me. So. I want to try this again, but try doing it clean, uh, without actually hitting it thrusters, without losing my nerve. Just make sure to make zero sound as I pass through those, uh, those fish, I guess, that are guarding the the entrance to that red seed, which is another mistake that I made because it is apparently not a dominant fish. A third mistake that I made was. Um, The scout. I recalled the scout after I fired it into the seed. Uh, and that's going to make things... If I try that again, that'll make things difficult to... Uh, to actually reach the place where I'm going, because the scout signal is what I'm using to actually find the... find where I need to go. So, I need to navigate without using my scout, without making any noise, and by properly identifying what I'm trying to get to, or and not mistaking seeds for fish. That's where I'm at. Uh, also, also by not running into things because I'm going too fast would be nice. Nice thing about uh, Newtonian physics is that if you ever find yourself going too fast, uh, you can always just uh, shoot yourself off to the side, and uh, then at least you won't collide with whatever it is you're trying to approach. Okay. There were... I'm going to have to actually... Because I'm going to have to find the seed that we saw last time first of all. And in order to do that, I need to chase it down with the signal scope again, which means uh, I'm going to have to do the maneuver that I did the last time. Basically just rush at this fish in the middle. Um, was it on this side? I feel like I don't even remember. Uh, that's definitely it. Okay. And then stop. Uh, I feel like I may have... Okay, I'm not going to touch anything. I'm just getting ready because I'm going to hit it. I'm going to hit it. I'm going to hit it. I'm not going to hit it. Okay, I'm not even going to move my mouse. I don't think that's an issue because it didn't seem to be an issue with the three, uh, three fish right around the entrance last time. The real issue seemed to be when I actually hit the thrusters, uh, looking back at the previous video. So, uh, I'm going to test it now. Okay, we are still alive. Yeah, I'm not dead. Um, I'd like... I think this is where I need to go. Okay, let's see. It is not where I need to go. Where is where I need to go? Oh, I'm on the wrong frequency. That's where right. Still not where I need to go. I thought I was in the right spot. I'm going to have to go that way, which is right past the fish again. Okay, I completely messed this up. Okay. Do not... Do not get angry. Also, don't hit anything. Would be ideal. Okay. 
okay. <sighs> this is just nerve-wracking. In a completely different way than, uh... Ember Twin is. This one... You've got to... Hit your mouse, or your, your keys, that you're gonna hit. And then not hit them again. And just patiently wait. Whereas Ember Twin, you've got to rush as fast as you can to try to actually see everything that you need to see. It's a different kind of stress. Okay, let's go in here. One of these is a fish, one of these isn't. This scared the dickens out of me. Man, I, I every time I see these anglerfish, for some reason, I get more scared, not less. Okay. I, and I keep thinking this is the dominant fish, even though it isn't. Okay. Let's... Are you the big fish? You're the big fish. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go back here. We need to find... We need to get out of the way of these things, whatever they are. somewhere. Here-ish. I thought. As soon as we see the lights, we can readjust our course. There we go. Okay. The lights the lights actually go up through here. I'm just gonna maneuver my way in. Uh, and hope I'm going in the right direction. My siren isn't going off, so I'm thinking this direction is where I need to go. It would help if I don't actually hit any vines on the way there. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Okay, all we need to do is shoot our scout into here. It doesn't seem to be RNG, but I suppose we can always hope that we get a different seed pod than this red one. We don't need you, I don't think, anymore. Instead, we need you. Match velocity. Keep forgetting I can do that. Okay. I also need to aim. Okay, there we go. Alright. I don't want to have to do this again a third time. So I don't want to damage my ship. Okay. Am I even on it? Am I even on the, the big ship? I think I am. I think I see some busted up stuff. Okay, do not uh, retrieve the scout. That would be pretty disastrous. I don't know where the other fish is. Might be right there, which would not be ideal. Let's just get on the other side of this. And try to line ourselves up here. I don't know if making a different entrance will help, or choosing a different entrance is help, will help. I'm inclined to say no. Okay, let me even out here. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay, not touching anything from here on out. I'm just gonna hit it. I'm just gonna hit its antenna. Oh, 
for its tooth. <sighs> okay. If that, if I didn't touch that, I can't imagine I'm gonna touch this one. Okay. Okay, I think... I think I'm past the worst of it. Um, I'm gonna risk looking around. Oh, that is just... too freaky, man. Okay. Scouts over there. And of course I can't check to see if any of these others are fish. I might just have to gun it. Oh. That's why this one's guarded. This is where they have their eggs. I'm gonna try it softly. If they get angry, I'm gonna book it. Alright. First of all, do I see anything? I don't see anything. Alright, I think it's time. I think it's time. Here we go. Here we go. Let's try. Nothing got angry. Oh, there's one right here right here. I'm going to run out of time before... Uh, and the sun's going to blow up. I guess I'm 12 minutes in, so I guess it's not that urgent. Still, even if I do get to where I want to go, I'm not going to be able to explore while I'm there. The other thing is, I've got to look out for, I've got to keep in mind, I can't recall my scout and shoot into this seed. Uh, because because I need the scout to stay where it is. I'm not even going to be able to get there because it's going to... Okay, this thing's going to run at me, but i got to rush through. And I've got to be aware of guardians on the other side. Okay. Piloting skills don't fail me now. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Fish? No fish, there's the ship. Okay. Okay, we made it, we made it. Let's see what this thing has to offer. This is the OG No My Ship. It's not hit anything except maybe the dead. And there's our scout. I guess we can recall it at this point. Okay. I'm I'm I wanna see what's down in here. Uh, match velocity. Okay. One of these days we're gonna read our log, but not this day. Just skeletons just roaming around. Okay, okay, let's see what's in here. That's something. Down in this hall. Flashlight.
Here's my theory at this point. I'm thinking that this is one of the uh, Nomai tribes um, that entered the this like spooky space, this uh, dark bramble spooky space from some other location. And I guess the galaxy or the universe. Yeah, this whole thing looks like a bridge. This looks like it's important. Maybe it's not important at all. Okay. Um, we just got this guy. Looks like he's like a reactor core or something right there. We got writing. Okay. Uh, which side first? I guess we'll do this side. Hannah, to any Nomai clans whose vessels can hear this message. It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within space now. So my clan and I believe that the best option is for all of our clans to stay together. If you can reach the gloaming galaxy, we found the Black Rock suns are fairly stable and life in this star system is comparatively thriving. We live in relative safety. If you prefer to continue exploring alone, know you will be on your own. Canem, we're making our way to you. Uh, it's good to hear from you, Bromi. We'll watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on its way to our vessel, but they never arrived, and he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell, the disappearance of Eskel. Okay. I remember the name Eskel from uh, what we've read. Uh, from from the last from the uh, skate pod that's in this in in the dark bramble I remember hearing a story that story as a child one day Eskel's vessel simply stopped responding the other clans searched and searched but found no trace it was as if their missing friends had warped out of existence that's no myth friends Eskel's clans existed Eskel's clan existed and their story was real what a curious event to have passed into myth. Our ancestors' ancestors were told that story when they were young. Are you sure it's true, Hyssop? It was a very long time ago, but yes, my clan's ancestors searched for Eskel's clan for a long time, but in the end, none of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared this way. Hyssop, I hope you aren't comparing Eskel's story to my clan's vessel. Neem, my friend, we feared you were gone. Not yet we aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our warp. Wait a second. Oh, okay. I didn't appreciate that it was Neem who was saying this. Uh, we feared you were gone. I'm relieved your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessels nearby, remember to be extremely cautious of potentially unstable stars, which is most of them now. I'm wondering... I'm wondering if this is being said right now, basically. Um, it sounds to me like the people that we know, the Nomai that we know, uh, that disappeared, that we found here in the Dark Bramble, disappeared 
a long time ago. Uh, and they're talking about their ancestors uh, finding them. Hang on, let me see if there's any way we can gauge any sort of uh, timing. Ancestors, ancestors. I'm looking for things like grandfather or great-grandfather. That old myth my grandfather used to tell. So, uh, yeah, uh, I guess there isn't any way to figure out how long it's been. But I'm guessing it has been some time. And, oh, shoot. Okay, we gotta hurry. This is Eskel's vessel. Something went badly wrong during our warp, and the vessel is mortally wounded. We may need help. We need help as quickly as possible. Okay, match velocity. Our vessel appears to have... Has it fused with the local environment somehow? There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from the inside itself. We we are abandoning our vessel. Any Nomai clans or spaceflight-capable species receiving this message, I implore you, we need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. Okay, so... This must be outgoing messages. And these are in incoming. These are separated by several years, is my impression. Okay, we need to figure out what the heck this does before we leave. Okay, come on. Match. Oh! This is something. Okay. Okay, some kind of pattern. Hang on. Give me a second here. Give me a second here. Okay. <sighs> okay. First thing next time, we're gonna look at our ship's log for once. We've got a lot of uh, catching up to do. And I feel like maybe our ship's log will uh, cast some light onto some of the things we've seen. Uh, and hopefully we won't need to go through that again. I don't think there was anything else we needed to explore down the hallways, at least. Uh, but there might have been other openings or something. Alright, uh, that'll be it for this episode. Thank you for watching.